My name is Jason. I'm a ghost hunter. When I do a ghost hunt, when I walk in, sometimes you can feel them. It's very hard to explain to people how, what you feel. So what I do is I have my cameras and my video gear to show the evidence of what I see. What I do with a video camera is I set it up because some people say they get a lot of things moving around. So what I do is set the camera up to see do I catch anything moving like black shadows and stuff like that moving that we might not see. Just make sure you look after your camera because it's very important that it doesn't get knocked down and destroyed and make sure you keep your lens cleaned at all times. Some people go into a place and they might take 10 photos. Me, I take about 250 photos and different angles, different sides, the group, the whole lot because you never know what's gonna be in the film on the photo until you go back and through it. Like sometimes you might get a full figure standing beside one of your mates or something like that. Again, clean the lens, make sure you keep the lens clean, camera service so there's no tapination of, oh, your camera could have been old and stuff like that. Also, your camera can have a good flash on it, so that also helps when you take a lot of photos. The flash will bring out the evidence of the spirit maybe in the area or might get a full photo of a spirit standing beside you. What I do is after I've done an investigation, I go home, put it all through the computer, upload it all, I start going through it all. When I do see something on, my, on the photo or the video camera, I'll edit it and put some circles around it and post it up on my Facebook page, ask people for opinion, what do they see? One the most memorable photo I've ever had was Dan and Janine, uh, one of my mates walking up the stairs, Monte Cristo. And I took a photo as he was walking up and you see this white outline of a spirit on the back of him. And my mate never felt nothing until I went through the photos and found it. As I was outside, um, I got another photo of a lady up on the balcony and she wasn't there. I was taking a photo, blind my mate because of the flash. And there was a lady standing on the balcony. Um, so you're very surprised when you take a lot of photos just remember, don't just take 10, go to different parts of the room, up, down, sideways, everything. So, so you might take about 25 photos to 30 photos in just in one room. So remember, the more photos you take, the more evidence that you might catch.